So thank you very much um, for the opportunity to uh, uh, introduce you to the um, uh, world of the transposable elements. So um, my name is uh, Susanna Ishvak, and I work at the Max Dabluck Center here in uh, uh, Berlin. So um, for those of uh, the so transposable elements are uh, do not really have a long history in um, therapeutic applications, so I don't know if you ever heard about them, so let me introduce you a little bit to uh, the transposome world. So uh, the transposable elements were uh, discovered by Barbara McClintock, uh, who was a brilliant geneticist in Mays, and uh, it was the time when uh, uh, everybody thought that the genome is a very stable entity. So she found uh, uh, and characterized the uh, uh, transposable elements, and uh, she was awarded a, a Nobel Prize for this. So the element I, I am talking about today is the sleeping beauty element has a, a, a high similarity in, in mechanism to this uh, uh, maze transposon that Barbara McClintock uh, um, uh, discovered. So let uh, me show you how uh, these are uh, getting mobilized. So the transposable elements are very, very simple genetic um, uh, units. So usually they code for a single gene. They are, um, um, have a, a recognition sequence for the recombinase or the transposes that is able to perform all the um, uh, reactions of the, the uh, transposition. So, and um, this particular one, the sleeping with the transposon, is um, uh, um, uh, inserting into a TA dinucleotide in the genome. So what is happening, so transposable elements are inser, uh, integrated in, uh, and it are present in all kinds of um, uh, genomes. So when, and th when they get mobilized, uh, they are um, uh, cleaved out from the genome, leave a double strand break behind, and they insert somewhere else in the genome. So this is the so-called uh, cut and paste mechanism. So you have a, a transposal mobilized from the, the uh, green uh, place to the yellow place. So what is important when you want to uh, use this uh, reaction uh, for a th a therapeutic or, or for gene delivery is important that you can put the whole reaction on a simple uh, plasmid DNA. So then you will have the transposon here, and you can get a transposition from a plasmid DNA uh, directly to the um, um, uh, chromosome. So it is um, generates a, a genome integration that is um, a, a very um, um, a crucial point for a stable um, expression of the therapeutic gene. So um, I told you how the transposon um, look. So uh, um, were discovered. So these are the uh, gene delivery system um, uh, uh, that uh, uh, the therapy is using. So when you see here, you have uh, uh, non-viral and viral systems, and uh, you will have uh, uh, talks uh, regarding uh, this side. So the transposons are uh, uh, located here, and this, this is the sleeping with the transposon, and these are essentially non-viral. Uh, uh, delivery systems. So what we uh, did uh, when we started to work uh, with the uh, transposon, we took on uh, this system and uh, um, uh, created a, a so-called transposon system that uh, uh, consists of um, a transposon. It is essentially a gene of uh, interest. And what is important here, you just have to uh, uh, flank your gene of interest with uh, uh, 230 base pair recognition uh, inverted repeats that uh, contains the recognition sequence for the transposes. And the transposes can be added uh, either on the same molecule, but what I show here is that we um, uh, add it from a separate molecule. This could be um, a plasmid DNA, or this could be also uh, supplied by a messenger RNA. So supplying it from a messenger RNA has a, a, a biosafety um, uh, um, aspect. So first, um, um, so as soon as you uh, get rid of the transposes, the transposes uh, uh, will not integrate into the genome. So the integrating unit, what you will end up is uh, this particular transposes, your gene of interest, uh, flanked by the um, in inverted repeats. So. Uh, 
adding the transposes as a messenger RNA, you can clear up uh, the transposes with the system and you can control and make sure that uh, you don't have uh, genomic rehopping. So the transposon, as I uh, 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 told you, is recognized by the transposes, and the transposes would um, uh, promote, uh, uh, catalyze the reaction of the uh, uh, integration, genomic integration. Uh, it's uh, also an important uh, point here that uh, the transposon can be supplied as a plasmid DNA, but uh, the, uh, it is, uh, um, um, uh, it was further developed, and uh, if you uh, uh, make sure, uh, if you reduce the distance between the inverted repeats and get uh, rid of the uh, bacteria-derived sequences from the plasmid DNA, you can end up uh, with the so-called mini circle that has several advantages uh, uh, feature and uh, um, uh, improves uh, the transposition reaction uh, by um, a great deal. So uh, once again, it is very important that this transposase uh, is uh, able to uh, perform all the uh, steps of the reaction. So the, the system is uh, absolutely flexible. So as I told you, you need only the inverted repeats, and you can um, drive a single uh, gene. You can drive uh, uh, several genes at the same, uh, from the same vector. The vector doesn't uh, have an absolute limit for uh, uh, car cargo size, and this is different uh, to uh, viral vectors. You can, uh, in, from the same uh, vector, you can have a, a expression, gene expression, and knock down. Uh, you can um, um, improve the biosafety, uh, in introducing insulator to uh, uh, protect the, the um, uh, genome from uh, transactivation. And you can really deliver uh, uh, um, cargo uh, above uh, 10 kb with a special configuration. We call it uh, so-called uh, sandwich uh, um, a construct when the inverted repeats are in a, a special uh, orientation. So the uh, basic characterization of the, the system includes that the uh, transposition can occur in, in all kinds of cells. So, and it's not restricted to uh, a cell cycle. So, uh, it can go through all um, uh, the cell cycle phases. So, this particular experiment uh, show, uh, I show you here. So, here we arrested the cells in different uh, phases of the cell cycle, I either uh, L1 or, uh, um, or uh, G, uh, GS1 or uh, G2. Uh, compared to the cycling um, uh, cells, and we express the transposes specifically in this particular uh, uh, cell uh, cycle phase. What we uh, have here that, yes, indeed, the transposition can go, uh, can occur in any of the cell cycle uh, uh, um, stages, uh, and uh, surprisingly, we got even um, uh, improvement of the transposition when we have a temporal uh, cell cycle arrest. We are going after uh, what uh, is behind this uh, phenomenon, but again, what is important, the sleeping youth is not restricted to any uh, stages of the cell cycle. We think the uh, system is not getting silenced, so uh, we don't, uh, um, the sleeping is not recognized by the host and, and uh, uh, shuts it down, uh, so we have very faithful uh, um, expression um, in transgenic animals that I don't show today, but also uh, cell lines. Uh, so here what we have, uh, uh, we have uh, 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 cell lines and we monitor the expression in time. Uh, these are passage numbers. So uh, what you see that uh, we have uh, nice and sustainable uh, expression from the transgene and what is important that is uh, 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 copy number dependent, so when you have low copy, then you have low uh, expression, and we can have a uh, uh, very uh, high copy number, but it is uh, again um, associated with the co copy number, and this um, copy number dependency or uh, association is a hallmark of the non silence the expression. So, um, what is um, uh, important that when we use the sleeping system, uh, uh, in this particular experiment, uh, when uh, uh, we use it um, as a bark transfection uh, and no um, uh, selection for the co clones, we have around 80% of the um, uh, uh, single clones that would not change expression um, in this um, uh, observed uh, per period of time. 
So the other uh, feature that is um, uh, very important for the Sleeping Beauty transport zone that um, uh, uh, among the integrating uh, systems, uh, the Sleeping Beauty has the so-called uh, close to random um, uh, um, integration pattern, and this is uh, uh, different from other uh, integration, integrating vectors. So when we use a computer-generated um, 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 integration pattern and we just count integration in different categories. I put here um, RepSec genes, uh, 5KB upstream genes, et cetera, et cetera. So this would uh, um, uh, represent the random integration. And when you have uh, um, uh, the MOMLV, uh, then you will see a, a significant bias in all this category. The HIV-based uh, vectors have a very high uh, sign uh, significant bias in the uh, uh, around gene, and uh, this is true for the ASV, the, the bird derived, and uh, this is um, uh, I think, and this is the, the Sleeping Beauty. The Sleeping Beauty is in, in blue. So uh, here, what we see that in uh, in these uh, categories, the Sleeping Beauty has the least uh, uh, bias uh, to uh, uh, from the random integration. It is not true for all uh, transposable elements, so there is another uh, transposable element um, uh, used for several um, uh, applications. This is called the piggyback. It was uh, recently shown that the piggyback um, has a, a bias and has a very similar uh, way how it uh, uh, recognizes uh, target site to the MOMLV. So, um, uh, we, we have random integration and we have a proof of principle uh, studies and this is uh, uh, the research is going uh, in uh, my lab and in Zoltan's lab how to uh, target uh, uh, transposition to a desired uh, place. Uh, so what uh, we have uh, that it is possible and we have around 10 to the 7 fold enrichment to, in a desired uh, 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 genomic locus with this system. So when, um, what we think, uh, the, the sleeping is a, a very good alternative of the integrating uh, uh, viral system. So when we um, compare to uh, the, the major features, uh, again, uh, very shortly I, I summarize. So the mechanism is um, cut and paste type of transposition. So we don't have reverse transcription. So when you have a very complicated uh, genes, uh, this, um, uh, we will not have a problem with the reverse transcription um, uh, generated uh, mistakes. The transposition is um, sensitive to size, but we have no upper limit. So using the transposition, it, it is possible to integrate even a bacterial artificial chromosome over 100 KB. So uh, immunogenicity is um, not uh, relevant. It is similar to a plasmid-based expression vectors. Tropism, as I showed you, uh, it's a uh, uh, it can um, uh, occur in any type of cells and dividing in non dividing cells, integration profile close to random, but uh, it is possible to get enrichment. Uh, there is uh, no uh, silencing uh, observed. Uh, I should say it could be uh, silencing, but it depends on the cargo. So, what you put in the, the vector, the vector itself is not sensitive to silencing. So it has uh, very importantly uh, b benign uh, 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 promoter and enhanced reactivity and all um, other transcription signals are very uh, low. So we, we don't have alternative spy signals. We don't have promoter enhanced reactivity. And when you compare it to the Moloni, it's uh, 100 fold less. Uh, it, um, has also some uh, problems. For example, if you, we have uh, uh, used very high transpose uh, concentration, then after a while it plateaus. Efficacy, so we have a hyperactive system that in uh, certain uh, cells it is uh, comparable to uh, uh, retroviruses. This is called uh, SB100. So these are the points where we think uh, we have um, uh, advantage uh, to other integrating vectors. Um, so the original system, what we uh, described, was um, from 97. So I, and uh, in the last 20 years, I just realized that the sleeping beauty is 20 years old. So in the last um, uh, couple of years, we um, uh, generated uh, several optimized versions of the transposon and the transposes. So I, I just show you um, uh, the, the latest. So here in this particular. 
um, uh, experiment, what we did, we optimized the transposon uh, sequence uh, uh, for um, uh, optimal transposon transposes interaction. So the transposes binds this particular sequence the best, and it was uh, uh, selected by uh, um, uh, uh, experimental design uh, called uh, casting. So I will not go into the uh, uh, experimental design. Actually, what is the message here that the, uh, even though you could uh, generate in vitro very uh, high uh, trans uh, 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 binding affinities, it is uh, uh, a real art to uh, get it introduced to the uh, vector. But uh, what I just want to show you here, so we have the uh, new generation PT4 system that has been optimized for the um, uh, transpo, uh, uh, for the, the binding by the transposes. So we also have um, an improved transpose system that uh, um, uh, 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 the, this is the classical experiment I show you here. So here we use the uh, a, a nuclear faction using the um, GFP and the uh, SB1 uh, and the transposes by the uh, uh, um, uh, plasmids. After nuclear faction, you have the GFP uh, in the um, hematopoietic stem cells, and then we start to differentiate the, the cells. So, of course, uh, you will have uh, 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 green, nice colonies if you uh, have integration of the um, uh, uh, reporter gene. And this is what we uh, uh, were doing this particular experiment. So, this was the original. Uh, 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 transposes that we described in 97, and there are now um, several hyperactive versions of the transposes. Now, the SB11, you will uh, uh, have a talk and the plenary uh, uh, session using this uh, system in um, uh, um, a CAR T um, application. So, we have several other versions. What uh, we think is the um, has the uh, highest activity is the so called SB100. So here we have around threefold compared to the original. So here we have around 100 fold improvement of the um, original activity. And here in hematopoietic stem cells, we have above 30% uh, um, um, uh, stable integration. So in the differentiated cells. So this particular uh, system was um, uh, in, 19, uh, in, in 2009. Um, awarded as a molecule of the year. So it, this is, the, if you are interested, you can look after the, um, uh, um, this uh, particular event. So why uh, uh, this uh, SB100 was um, uh, awarded? Because this is the explanation, because at that time, uh, people uh, um, expected um, that it could um, um, really contribute to the improvement of the gene uh, and cell therapy field. So um, as I sh uh, showed you one example, the, uh, the system for some reason is very um, working very nicely in uh, uh, various uh, uh, stem cells. So what I showed you is hematopoietic stem cells. And here I just show you one application here. Uh, we use the Sleeping Beauty system uh, together with a uh, so-called LTR7 uh, to um, uh, mark and um, um, identify naive uh, like uh, embryonic stem cells from uh, human cultures, from uh, embryonic stem cells and iPS cultures. So we can use uh, this system to uh, find and, and reach um, these cultures. And now we are working on finding um, uh, how to uh, maintain this uh, naive like uh, uh, cultures uh, stably. So, uh, as I told you, the system is uh, uh, non viral. So, um, we um, really um, have to um, improve, uh, or this is a, a, sometimes a, a concerning certain cell types. Uh, it is a real bottleneck uh, to, to get the system into uh, cells. Um, uh, so, here, the viral de delivery comes uh, very handy. So, it is really possible to combine the, the Sleeping Beauty with the uh, uh, virals. 
for the uh, viral delivery. And uh, these uh, so-called hybrid vectors are available now for, for uh, a number of uh, viruses. So we have uh, sleeping beauty AAV, sleeping beauty uh, adenovirus, sleeping beauty um, uh, lentivirus uh, hybrid, sleeping beauty herpes simplex virus, and baculovirus hybrids. So what is important here that the hybrid transposon um, a system provides efficient viral def uh, delivery and it combines with the um, advantageous uh, features of the, the Sleeping Beauty uh, mediated uh, integration. So the uh, system can be, of course, uh, used uh, in vivo and in, in vitro, so I, I think I don't have to uh, explain too uh, much to you. So in vivo is when you add it directly, but it is possible to get the cells uh, and manipulate the cells and get the cells back to the patient. And we uh, will have uh, several talks also that it is also uh, really much in the air that you have, can have the cells, you can um, uh, generate uh, induced pluripotent stem cells, you can manipulate them and uh, get back uh, uh, the uh, patient. So at this moment, we cannot really see how much uh, uh, this um, uh, uh, avenue is um, uh, um, uh, feasible, but uh, uh, definitely this is the way how the, the field is going. So regarding the, the sleeping beauty system, so I just collected some of the examples uh, from uh, in the last 20 years. So the system was used in several um, uh, preclinical uh, studies, and very importantly, now we are uh, in the clinic. So um, I think I have so here I will not have time to talk about uh, each. Maybe I, I will just uh, uh, mention uh, a few uh, uh, that are. I think it's a very important uh, steps forward in this uh, uh, um, avenue. So uh, here uh, there is a large uh, gene uh, delivery and we have here a uh, com combination with the uh, adenovirus or with the nanotechnology. And I would uh, just uh, uh, shortly mention the three um, um, uh, clinical trials where the sleeping beauty is used or will be used in a very short uh, uh, time. So this is the age-related uh, macular degeneration. You will have a talk uh, here at the uh, beta lymphoma. The CAR T will be a plenary session, and we have also um, uh, an Alzheimer's disease. Um, um, I will show you on the concept very shortly. So here, what is um, um, important that the sleeping beauty can be um, combined with uh, what I showed you can be electroporated, can be uh, combined with any physical um, um, uh, delivery systems. What it is uh, nice here, so here it was combined with the nanotechnology and uh, they uh, used a, a single uh, vector approach to uh, deliver the uh, factor eight. Uh, this, uh, they generated uh, 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 nanoparticles and uh, they could use um, uh, in vivo delivery. And what was very important that in this uh, way, uh, modifying this uh, nanoparticle, it was possible to specifically target to a, a, a certain cell type the system. And uh, uh, this uh, was uh, um, very um, um, important uh, four steps. Here I, I show you another in vivo approach when the system is combined with adenovirus. So here what, uh, and uh, they uh, again target a, 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 a certain cell type. In this particular case, it's a hematopoietic stem cells. So this experiment was, uh, uh, I show you in, um, in mice. So you have the, the, uh, um, uh, the uh, mice, it's a humanized mice uh, uh, expressing the CD, um, uh, 64, I, I suppose, and uh, you uh, use a chemical that uh, chases out uh, the, the uh, cells to be uh, targeted uh, to the bloodstream, and then you use a simple uh, injection of the uh, sleeping beauty adenoviral uh, system, and then the, um, uh, it is, then the cells are uh, uh, um, going back or um, very nicely uh, absorbed back in the uh, bone marrow. So this uh, particular um, uh, concept is now working. Uh, it is, um, uh, was published um, uh, or, uh, in, in blood. 
and the efficiency was uh, not very high, but uh, uh, we are working together uh, with the University of uh, Washington and we have very good ideas how to improve uh, the efficacy of this particular uh, application. So what um, I um, summarize here, the uh, part that uh, I told you that the Sleeping Beauty was, uh, no, the <laughs> transposons were uh, discovered by Barbara McClintock. It was 97 when the um, uh, Sleeping Beauty was resurrected from actually salmonid fish. So we have nothing uh, similar in the human genome, very important. And the first clinical trial was in 2012. So if um, I can very sh uh, shortly show you the uh, concept on, of the uh, clinical trials, but very shortly because you will have, uh, uh, you will see um, uh, talks about here. So this is um, a concept, uh, uh, the concept is very interesting. So we use um, it, uh, it in, uh, to treat the uh, age-related macular de degeneration. The cells are harvested from the iris uh, uh, pigment epithelial cells and it is, uh, they are nucleoaffected ex vivo. And here is the proof of principle. The cells are uh, expressing the, here the GFP, but the therapeutic gene. And the concept is that uh, these uh, treated cells are, after a very short 45-60 uh, minute session, are transferred back to the patient. So this is a kind of ambulance uh, uh, type of uh, concept. I like it very much. There is no um, um, uh, long-term uh, culturing uh, steps involved. So the second concept, again, very shortly, here is using the it was used uh, to treat um, uh, Alzheimer. So there was already a clinical uh, trial uh, using plasmid DNA with the Karolinska Institute where this uh, uh, horrible uh, design <laughs> uh, uh, vehicle was uh, tested and proved that it is uh, really can be implanted in the brain and uh, these, um, um, uh, this device uh, uh, contains um, uh, uh, cells that are expressing the therapeutic uh, protein. This is the so-called encapsulation biodelivery system. The problem was that, that uh, they had a decline in the expression and uh, now uh, they are using a, a, a cell line that is uh, uh, generated using the, uh, the sleep immunity system and uh, past uh, uh, phase one. So you will he hear um, talks um, uh, at the plenary session, and there is one uh, also um, uh, presented by Michael Hudacek. So this is uh, very important, and, uh, and we are very happy that the sleeping mu uh, moves into the uh, immunotherapy. So um, uh, uh, immunotherapy was a, a highlight of the, um, the highlight in 2000 and, uh, yeah. Uh, 14, yeah. So here the concept is that um, you use uh, the sleeping beauty system for uh, TCR or, or car therapy uh, in this ex vivo uh, uh, setup. And uh, uh, essentially, the, the idea is the same when you use the lenti uh, viral system, except uh, the uh, uh, or the gamma retroviral system, except you use the, the sleeping beauty. And what is the advantage when you uh, use the uh, sleeping beauty? So it's much, much simpler and much, much uh, faster, more flexible. And this is, uh, the, I think, the last slide. It uh, uh, shows that it is a naked uh, plasmid DNA compared to the retroviral uh, system. The GMP-grade plasmid uh, uh, production is, uh, is um, much cheaper when you compare to the retroviral production. The cost is uh, much uh, uh, lower when compared to the retrovirus. And you don't need uh, uh, special uh, conditions. So this is S1 uh, conditions. And then, as I showed you, the integration pattern uh, is much uh, safer. So I just summarized. So I showed you, uh, I, I gave an introductory talk about the sleeping beauty system that was um, uh, uh, offers what we think um, an alternative to uh, uh, integrating viral approaches and has um, now at the clinical level, it is cost effective, flexible, and easy to upscale. And it can be combined with all kind of non-viral and also viral delivery systems. And we have a strong interest from the biotech. So the work I talked today 
um, is a huge effort uh, and uh, uh, lots of collaboration. So um, very important collaboration uh, with the SB100 system was Thierry Van den Driesch and Marini Chua. The in vivo uh, hepatopoietic um, uh, adenovirus is a um, uh, work of Anja Erhard. You heard uh, her talk um, uh, earlier today and uh, Andre Lieber at the University of Washington. Uh, we have a um, uh, very active ongoing collaboration at the Max Delbrück Center with Wolfgang Uckert and uh, uh, Thomas Blankenstein. And there is, uh, I think, an important point. The MD cell is a Hamholtz innovation lab that is, uh, 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 can uh, fund um, in a one-to-one -one ratio uh, um, uh, commercial activities. So here, um, the collaborator, very important, uh, my husband Zoltan Ivic, who will give also a plenary talk. Um, here is, uh, yeah, I want to uh, show a Gabriela Tuman who will give a talk later, and Michael Hudacek who will go, uh, give a talk. And there are several posters also, including the MDC. Thank you very much. <laughs>